Hey folks, welcome back. Today is going to be a little bit different video. I have found a man. You think I buy stuff? I don't have anything on this guy. He buys everything. He buys machinery. He buys hand tools. He's got everything. You'll be seeing that over the next upcoming two or three videos. There's so much stuff. It's, I've spent two days there already. That big one right there, five horsepower motor. <laughs> you can believe that. I gotta get down and look at this, it first. This one right here. One right in front of us? Yeah, yeah. Five this horse, and where did these come from? That came off a Woods Molder made in the mid 1920s. Uh, it's a uh, Molder is, is like a planer, but it cuts all four sides of the. At one, one time. time. So. Well, guys, guess where I am? hunting tools again and I found a man named what's your name Bucky Turk hi Bucky Turk and Bucky Turk and I met over uh, messenger and Facebook and I'm here to pick up three of these little uh, chain hoists that he got surplus out of a place that either didn't pay their bills or couldn't ran manage out of their business. money couldn't manage it so <laughs> Their loss is my gain. He's selling them for $45 a piece. Don was nicer to me. I'd buy one for his birthday. But, yeah. Anyway, this is a neat place. Bucky tells me that he buys all kinds of stuff and refinishes wood and buys old tools. And he's got some wood from a stadium. That he got all the benches out of. What was the benches made out of? The benches are made out of old growth redwood. Uh, they were installed in 1951 when G. Raleigh White at AM was built. So these are Aggie wood oh, benches. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are, yes, that make all the Aggies happy. Look what's right. standing over in the corner, guys. He's ready for an invasion, but he tells me that's a training. Yeah, it's larger than full scale. Oh, okay. Okay, and so it was used to check, train the the troops where they could see the, how the mechanism worked and how you disassembled right. it. And so that's uh, why it's all open. That's right. That's, that's why it's got all cool. cutaway uh, shots in. So came out of a military museum in uh, Missouri that unfortunately had to close oh. some 10 or 15 years ago. You got traffic lights. Now, Bucky, you told me that almost everything in this building's for sale. Yes. With exception of uh, the there's a wood bench over there and a south bend lathe. And, uh, and I, this right here. And this that door. This is going in my house. Ooh. This is a... That's a, a very tall. Yeah, this is, it, this is a side panel. The second side panel, and there's the door, uh -huh. has double hung windows, beveled glass in the door, and the double hung windows have beveled glass, leaded glass in them. So well, that's going in my house that I'm getting ready. I don't to. think you're going to sell your little no, saw that. and your, your uh, we have the same taste in toolboxes at this so. Uh, but you got okay. a roll top desk over there. Yeah, I have about four roll top desks actually for sale. Uh, uh, this is a small storage. Well, someday we'll go over and look at your big store, Jerry. So this is what is that? This is a handmade partner's desk. This would have been in like a law firm for on both or, sides. Yes, sitting. And if you look at the the if you pull the drawers out, you can see that they're hand cut dovetails. Oh, uh, and stuff. Uh, and then this is a this is a handmade uh, wood pegged uh, cradle. And um, this was. In an old cabin, this would have been suspended from the ceiling. And the way they did that was they had knobs that went in here, and the um, ropes went up over the rafters, down under this one, over that one, under that one, back up over the rafter, and back down on both sides. Kinda and they pulled those place. up out of the way because the cabins were so small. Okay. So you needed all the space. So. Got old traffic lights in there. Uh, traffic lights, uh, signal lights. This came out of off the crossing at Carlos, Texas. Carlos, well, Texas. I know where that is. Yeah, at one of the one of the railroad crossings. So I'm just going to pan, guys, because there's too much for me to show you every little thing. If you see anything you like or want or want to talk to him about, you know he's going to give you 
some information somewhere in this video about how to get in touch with him. So I came to get these little uh, chain hoists, and Bucky is out here working on stuff, and this he is, is allowing us to go through. One of my favorites is trunks. Oh, this is actually a woodworker's right. trunk. You've got a spot where you saw your saw up there. Okay, your screwdrivers. Yeah. Okay, uh, slot for a saw that went over here. Uh, also, um, and uh, it's a. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for trunks and uh, and toolboxes. Well, I like trucks. Oh well, then you'll you like carry your toolboxes in. Well, then you'll like the 1949 Ford one ton that's sitting over in the. Oh, it's a Ford. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So this is an immigrant's trunk, and it's all either um, hammered iron, wrought iron, hand. wrought iron handles, or wooden pegs and hand cut dovetails. Uh, and so everything is is handmade on this. Even the the big lock that's that's inside. And what uh, year would you think that's from? Probably. Um, Probably 1840s, 1820s, maybe as late as the 1850s. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, so in the old days, you had to be a real man to carry all your stuff around. Uh, well, yeah. Now Especially this was probably carpenter, more used okay. like shipping for travel. Oh, okay. Okay. So you have you got you got handles at the end, but uh, but this was probably for a long distance, long distance trip. You know, I could get Don in that thing. So we could send him a long distance. Well, there you go. They screwed me once. Well, how about a how about a 1953 uh, Dodge M37 half ton pickup? I'd probably strand me too. There's a nice wood bench over there. That's not for sale, but he. This is one of the old ones that, um, and the way that you can tell it's really, really one of the old ones. Let's see if I can get this open. Is even the wood screw on the vices is made out of wood almost all of them are, are i'll let you take metal or metal yeah but you can look at this one and you can see that it's actually it is wood it's actually a wood screw so but um and uh the woodwright shop would be happy to have that oh one. yes he would see a delta contractor saw yeah sitting under there what else we got in here? You're gonna keep jukebox. your sandblaster. Where's the jukebox? Well, there's one. There's one back here. This is a. Or uh, it's got its back to you, but it's a Rockola 1428 from 44, I think, or 44, mm -hmm. 45, 46. And then there's a reproduction desktop that plays CDs. That's right over here. It's got its back to you. We can get around to the side. You can you can see it. Well, we're mainly interested in your the tool stuff. stuff. The real stuff. The tool stuff. Yeah. We've got small uh, blades and... Those, and, uh, and those things are all disassembled uh, hay troughs uh, uh, to be redone. Do you and, have any line shaft equipment? Uh, I've got a huge uh, drill press out of my property okay. that's, that's line shaft. Uh, and I guess you would say this could be line shaft, though. Uh, from where I got it, it probably was driven by an old uh, tractor. Uh, and where did you get it? Uh, this came out of an old 1880s farm outside of uh, Chicago. Cool. Uh, that was maintained by the, the county up there. Uh, it's got huge uh, babbitted bearings underneath here. Uh, you adjust the uh, depth of your cut by uh, raising and lowering the table. And is is that because it was a fixed drive machine? That's right, because the, the drive and the blade are fixed. And you okay. couldn't, can't, can't move that You around. can't move that, and so you had a crank down here that you would crank to the position that you wanted, and then you would lock it on and the side. The, on the side over here. Okay, and lock it in place. So... But uh, uh, one of my cool. favorite things, it did not look like this when I got it. It was covered 
and grease and oil so thick I had to use a uh, putty knife to begin with. You were saying something about numbers being stamped in it. Yeah, the numbers on the cross here. Um, let's see if we can get them to, they're right in this row. You can maybe see them right there. Hmm. there uh, all kinds of goodies over here. So Old wrenches. Old wrenches, lots of. This looks like a drill disassembly. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. It is a, it is a drill that's been been cleaned and uh, is ready to be put back together. Uh, and and that's what you're doing. That's right. It would have mounted on this board on the wall. Mm -hmm. Now so, you got one over here like that. Right. Yeah. That's ready. What are all these things? Those are chain all, trolleys? Uh, those are chain hay trolleys too. Hay trolleys, okay. Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't know is the hay trolley was an um, American invention. Huh. And when they did that, they had to cut the supports out of the old European style barns and the barn started to sag. And so they actually had to redesign the way that barns were built in the, in the U.S. Uh, to allow for the hay trolley. So it, it actually led to an architectural change. Tell me darn. Uh, when they, uh, once they started using the hay trolleys. So. Well, I haven't been back here. There's your little south bend. So my other thing is restoring old rifles. So. Oh. Uh, Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't let you talk about yes. that stuff. Dang them. Do you use it a lot? Oh, uh, this is a craftsman. Yeah, it is a craftsman. I meant to tell you when you, yeah. you said south bend. I, meant I just grew, glanced at it. Uh, but uh, I do use it some, uh, mainly to make... Um, Sleeves and, and uh, that little type of things, stuff, yeah, uh, to, to fit stuff or replace bearings. Uh, Do you mind I, if I go back through here? No, 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 that's fine. Okay, uh, most of that is going to be some firearms back there, so I don't know. Well, we'll look, look. Uh, no gas pump, yeah, <laughs> and those gas containers handle. are actually full of parts for 1948 Jeep Jeepsters, which was Jeep's foray into the uh, um, non-military market after World War II. Oh. And uh, our Jeep Willie, I guess you would say. Okay. Uh, there's a Willie, Willie hubcap and stuff, but uh, two Jeep Jeepsters that uh, I'm working on restoring. Oh, is that in your other barn? Yes, that's yeah. in the storage building that's next to the 40 foot by 150, 150 foot shed that my other stuff is in. See, my wife needs to let me have one of those. Got an old oil pump there. Yeah, yeah, that's an old oil pump that would have, uh, you'd have set your container here. Pump and it up. run this to, to, to pump it. I don't look that old, but I've actually used one of those in a real oil station back in my younger years. So. What else you got for sale around here? Uh, We're going to have to go to that other place. No, but we can go to my, my garage that's just about 20 yards from here. And I can oh, we can go look in there. Got some more old tools in here. Old tools. Uh, some military stuff, military backpacks. There's a, there's a, uh, I believe that's a German um, uh, winter um, backpack from World War II. Looks like deer cover, deer yeah, skin. That's yeah. right. Huh. Right, hide covered. Yeah. Um, so, uh, tell me, you, you, let's go back over here. I want to yeah. ask you one thing. You, you told me that. By the way, this is all, and you can edit this if you want. This is antique computer equipment. Oh. This, everything from the first Mac to about 2010, because we used to be in the Mac business. And, uh, the Mac, the Mac Plus, the 20th anniversary Mac, the Mac TV. You showed me a piece of board over here mm -hmm. and a bracket. Yes. Could you show me that again? Yep. You told me that you went and so, bought. So this is actually traded computer equipment for it. Uh, this is an original bench from G. Raleigh White Coliseum. So this is... And that's in College Station, Texas. That's in College Station. That's on the A&M campus. That was where basketball was played for... A lot of Aggie butts have sat years. on that bench. And graduation was held. 
and uh, it's made out of old growth redwood. And this is how it was mounted. This, this would have been the bracket that screwed into the concrete right here and then bolts went down and bolted into uh, this bracket. So uh, we also did salvage about 300 seats from there that the alumni sat in. Well, when I think of seats, I think of like a regular chair type. That's right, seat. we salvaged about 300 of the flip down seats Okay. that were mounted basically the same way. But these were bench seats? These were bench seats, these were the <laughs> students. The students didn't have regular seats. They ah, got they got just set on the bench. Second class students. That's right. Okay. So, but this will give you an idea of what the this is the, just the wood raw, and this is just a sealer on it. No stain, no colored stain or anything on it. Hmm. Um, and there you can see the paint from the backside. Hmm. Um, of course, it's Aggie maroon. Yes, they alternated. This was what passed for gray that they could find in a good paint. So the benches alternated between maroon and gray as you went up, the, the colors alternated. How many linear feet of that did you buy? Oh. Several thousand, that's, that's all I could tell you. 4,000 students at about 14 inches per butt, so. Little students. Yeah, well, they Real crammed them together. They crammed students. them together. Figure eight, maybe 18. Um, that's a nice desk. It is a nice desk. It, it, it really is. It comes apart in four pieces. Uh, and uh, actually, it's for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, oh. uh, but uh, the top comes off, then the, the middle section, including the parts that fold down for the working surface, is one piece, and then the two base pedestals uh, come off. So. Well, let's go look in your other shop. Yeah. Looks like somebody's been busy cutting wood. Yeah, we had about eight trees, dead trees we had to take down. That's Cut. all from this property. Wow. So. It's oak? It's all oak. Yeah. yeah. You got generators everywhere. Yeah, that, like I said, we refurbished generators. Okay. So. And what do you call a refurbish? Well, Paint on? we clean the tanks, we usually replace the carburetor, change all the filters, uh, change the shutoff valve. Oh. Hello, hello. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize I had it. Um, change the, um, change all the filters, change the oil. Um, we'll change the capacitor if we need to. Um, do, you just, do you just basically go through it all go through and it make completely. sure it's okay? Go through it completely. Uh, and, uh, 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 yeah, so um, we do the, anything from this size, which is like uh, 5,000 watts, 6,500 watt, up to 125,000 watts. So uh, give me some idea of what you charge for one of well, those. Well, like this one is like 350 bucks. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know ones, how old it is? Um, on these we don't because they don't have any time meters, which is really more than age is the run time. Run time. Uh, the better ones that we've got actually are these back here. These are the the pricey ones. These are the Hondas. Hondas are a premium. These are a 6,500 watt electric start Honda. Those retail at Amazon for 4,400 bucks. Okay. We sell those for a thousand dollars. Okay. So, and uh, here they my, are. Here's my the people are cheap. There's a big set of this work is what, tongs. These were the tongs I was telling you about. Yeah, that, that that's for a forge. So, I, uh, okay. A I, power hammer. You use sort of like the uh, the power, small power hammers, right? But a forge with a big hammer, right? Is what that would be used yeah. for. Yeah. Okay. That's so two hundred kinds of hand tools up here. Yeah. So now, what are you going to do with these? Do you just clean they're, them they're up? For sale. Okay. Do they're, you do you clean them? Take them uh, places? Typically, or? typically clean them. Uh, try not to, you know, take a lot of the patina off if we can help it. Sometimes yeah. they're so rusty. You have to, or they're not usable. So, but uh, here, you notice anything unusual about this? This came out of the. Um, Hold on, let me get up. We don't want to look at your socks. Okay. 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 These these came out of the uh, old warehouses out on the Riverside campus before they demolished them on Warehouse Row. All types of fires. Okay. Notice anything? This is a misspelled type. Yes, and they were like that on a, almost like all of them. Well, <laughs> so. 
Not to say so they anything were bad, but it is Texas A&M. And they had to simple. That's right. That's right. Of course, I went to their fire school there, so, so they do do some good stuff. Um, so, so what's this? This is your workshop? Well, no, most this stories? is actually a, a little bit of overflow. Um, I'm actually trying to move out of here to my big workshop so my wife can have this back. Uh, but yeah. this is an example of like going through. This was painted about four different colors and we had to take and clean this and sandblast it, take it apart, completely disassemble it. Okay, and now it's it's ready to to go back together. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, Okay, so, so now you've got it back together. Yeah. You spent a couple hours working on it. Ah, yeah. Uh, three well, hours, four yeah. hours? Yeah, probably three or four hours. And what are you going to do with it? Um, Put it, it on a shelf? I, <laughs> no, I would rather sell it. Okay. I, I've, I've got enough stuff for my shelves. Who would so. buy that? Um, somebody that is usually for like a man cave or okay. decorative, uh, decorative type something stuff. Something on top of a restaurant. Yeah. Uh, typically you'd try to have two of these. Okay. Where you could run a and set of ropes, ropes okay. uh, between them. Um, uh, you know, that, that type of stuff. I see all kinds of goodies on the shelves back here from big solid pieces of wood. When he's talking, we're going to sneak around. Yeah. What a wood he collects. Okay. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I got plenty There's of There's another jukebox back over in there. All right. Uh -huh. Big cork boards. So if you want to come over here, I can show you a small sample of tools. I don't know if you can get in there and see those. Is your bandsaw for sale? The bandsaw is not for sale. Not for sale. So. Sorry, Don. But these are. Let's see if we can get in there. A little light. Here, let me do this. Yeah, some flashy light. Wrenches there? Yeah. Uh, wrenches and planes. I'm partial to... Old planes? I'm partial to planes. Um, so... And a skeet machine. And yeah. And I have several antique versions of these. Huh. That... Um, this one my daughter uses. She, um, she likes to shoot. My youngest daughter is my hunting companion. An old miter saw right there. So... What else can we got? Parts of handles for well, different things that shoot small projectiles very yes. quickly. Yes, that's uh -huh. right. Uh huh. And uh, probably the best thing is for you to come out again sometime and and see the large storage areas. I will be back. Um, got a little press there. Wood uh, clamps. Yeah, these are the. My favorite clamp they don't make anymore. What is it? Uh, Jorgensen clamp? Yep. Right there? Where, oh no, those those you can find that the, the the cabinet maker ones. I have about 25 of them and I wanted more. And what what are they what what's special about them? The bar doesn't have serrations in it. Okay. They get all gummed up and, and slide right. and they're much thicker and they just, they, I just. So they don't have the notches like this. Right. Gotcha. Or the new ones you buy are red or, or whatever. They've got the little notch in the bottom. It's very small and I yeah. just don't like them as much. Well, okay. Now we come to the point. Well, we didn't see this side. Well, this is what's that old machine there? A grinder? This? No, down below you. This that's yeah. that's a grinder. Uh, this is kind of one of my favorite ones that I got. Oh, picture framing vice. This is a picture framing vice, an old Stanley mm -hmm. picture framing vice. Um, and uh, I'm partial to to those. I've also got some tools that um, are for cutting dowels. 
uh, or for cutting stretches. For woodworking? Yeah, house? woodworking. Yeah. yeah. This is my my favorite. Let's see here. If it's in here. Oh, an old saw. This is from the early 60s. It's a Craftsman six and a quarter inch worm drive, or maybe it's six and a half inch worm drive. We salvaged about a thousand feet of the original floor from G. Raleigh White, the basketball floor. And literally the only thing we found that would cut it was, that saw? was this saw right here. Man. And well, they uh, don't make them like they used to. Uh, now it weighs about 30 pounds. Yeah, you had to be a real man. So, but. Uh, I notice you got all kinds of planks laying around. Is that flooring? These, these are actually from old um, bed frames that came out of A&M. These were the cross pieces. Is there anything okay. left of that campus, sir? <laughs> I, I only salvage it once once they, mm -hmm. they're they scrapping it. Okay. This will show you... Here, I'll show you what original one looks like. This is getting ready to be the top of a table. This would have been the cross piece that went into the sides of the uprights, mm -hmm. and then the frame went out. Went out from that, but um, we and then they had slats going across for uh, slats. Actually, or? most of the AM stuff was this metal frame that had this interlocking set of springs, oh, about that long. Well, the Haggies were comfortable. Yeah, well, yeah. I didn't find them that comfortable. Well, you don't have a 12-inch or 14-inch wide seat so, like they did to get in that stadium uh, either. But um, uh, anyway, these are old pillow blocks. This is actually an old babbitted pillow block from an elevator. It came out of the basement of a building in Joplin, Missouri. And that elevator is going back in my barn that I'm building out at my property. Oh, cool. So. Well, one of the theater groups I in Navasota has an old timey building with an elevator and it was going to cost a hundred thousand dollars to put that back together so i hope you can do it cheaper yeah, i can now, do it a lot cheaper than that now i need to know something yes because people if they see anything why don't you go right there yeah It'd be better yeah okay now i need to know something about contacting you people see anything they want to talk to you about how would they get a hold of you well they can contact me either through facebook just search for uh, Bucky Turk or Royal Warehouse. Uh, or you can text me at 979-229-5962. Or you can call me. But if I don't answer because I'm doing something, please leave a message. Okay. Because I don't answer a lot of unknown numbers. So. Well, thank you for letting me look around. Absolutely. We'll uh, go play with our chain hoist now. Okay.